bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl okay as y'all can see I had to cut these lights up okay so y'all can see me okay so y'all can see my face you know what I'm saying <laughs> today y'all it's been a good minute since I have gotten into scammer payback y'all but I'm really excited to do this video it's been a long time it's been a long time we got to see him cloud and act a fool y'all usually we'd be over on Kit Bogus channel but today I'm on payback scammers channel so if you haven't introduced yourself to his channel yet, make sure y'all check it out. I will link these video, the link to this video down below in the description uh, so y'all can check out the channel as well as other content that he has over there, y'all. He is hilarious. Nonetheless, you can actually learn a lot from him. So I highly suggest checking it out. So anyway, <laughs> today, y'all, I am getting into... Um, Whew. While deleting scammer files, I found this. Okay, so I am interested to see y'all. Y'all know how he can get into everybody's little stuff, whatever little situation he got going on, deleting everything and stuff, trying to save the day. Okay, shout out to you, Mr. Scammer Payback. Keep doing your thing. Okay, that's why I'm here for this, y'all. Definitely here for this. But anyway. I ain't finna hold this video up, y'all. This video is long enough. So go on and get your popcorn ready up. And let's go ahead and get into this video, y'all. Oh, let me scoot over. Hold on, first. Y'all, my nose is itching, okay? All right, y'all. Let's get into it, okay? Scammer payback, y'all. Here's what we're doing. Attempting to save two possible victims do this and do that litany of instructions of what to do and so i i was in i was i was just suckered in i came across them while accessing these scammers computers two separate systems while deleting a few files i noticed their telegram which had live conversation of them orchestrating how to scam me in this group there was a boss using the fake name john smith but it appears that some of the scammers just wanted to use their real names who is going to be calling me? Is it going to be Pinky or is it going to be Sunny? I was trying to find their call center location, but just like Telegram said, they were literally working from home. Out of the seven people in that group, the two computers that I connected to were being run out of Goa, India. And these scammers were using the Norton and Geek Squad refund scams. Now, the scammers transferred me several times. At one point, I was even on the line with the senior executive, Mike Tyson. Very believable, right? So Mike Tyson transfers me to Alex Parker, who then later on transfers me to Mike Tyson, who's now the senior executive manager. If you're following closely, that means that in 15 to 20 minutes, Mike Tyson has climbed that corporate ladder and he's now a manager. The last thing before the call, the two US citizens that I reach out to. The first is a guy from Arizona who had not been scammed yet. And the second is a lady from Florida who unfortunately was not as lucky. I was so caught up in just paying them their money back and it was all a scam. Hello, this is uh, Ricky. How can I help you? Yeah. Hi, Ricky. I'm looking for the cancellation team. I'm supposed to be receiving, I believe it's $299. So for this one, you, uh, you have to be on the computer and once you're there on the computer, you will be connected to the refund department now. Okay, it looks like my uh, desktop is turned on. I see my kitty cat. Now what you need to do is that you have to simply open the Google Chrome browser. You have to just type it over there. Anydex.com. Yeah, yeah. Your desk can be accessed with this address. You can just provide me that number. It says it's waiting for you uh, to accept or something. Yeah, just hold the line for a moment, okay? Okay. Just give me a moment and now a form will be opened for you. And uh, I believe that the amount told to you was $299, okay? Okay. Essentially, what, what happened was we were on the computer. We, there were not a lot of files to delete. We were trying our very best to get information. So how do you get information? Obviously, he allows us onto his computer. He gives us the password. And we were able to watch his, uh, we were able to watch his, his screen as he was talking in a group with his boss. So he's getting calls and they're passing it off to somebody else. Who is Pinky? Pardon? Who's Pinky? 
This is the view from the scammer's monitor. The audio of my voice is directly taken from what the scammer is hearing during the call. Okay, okay, okay. I had to read that, y'all, before he went away. I didn't get, sir. Oh, no, it's ma'am. It's not sir. <laughs> I couldn't get. Oh, I just, I'm, I was just thinking about a name, Pinky, P-I-N-K-I, and I was just curious. Why are you asking about this, uh, Pinky, or? Oh, I was just curious who Pinky and Suni were. Why? May I know the reason? I was just curious who, because I had a next door neighbor named Suni. <laughs> okay, now you can simply hang up the call, okay? And my manager will be just calling you within the next moment. You can just hang up the call, okay? To be able to get what I just saw, one, they're using AWS for a phone system. They're doing virtualized phone systems. And on top of that, we got his uh, history and his logins on Chrome that might show the AWS logins. On top of that, we saw their Telegram conversations where he's getting the calls and passing it to this other guy and we got to see their information and I get to go back and possibly find a freaking victim right now. Uh, yeah, hi ma'am, this is Mike, senior supervisor. How are you doing today? I'm well, <laughs> this was Mike. Like the fact he got Bertha as the name of the bank, y'all, as, as <laughs> the name on the bank account. Bertha, really? <laughs> no, fool. This is Mike, senior supervisor. How are you doing today? I'm well. This was Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson, you are talking to. So, ma'am, uh, you want your money onto your uh, savings account, right? Uh, my checking. Microsoft, they told me that if anyone would ever call me, that I, you okay. need to know the passcode. All right, he just hold on, ma'am. Okay. Let me talk to my manager. Yes, ma'am, this is Alex Parker. What passcode are you talking about? Well, the Microsoft guys texted me and they said that if anyone's to ever call me, that you guys are okay. supposed to give me a passcode and you're supposed to know it. No, no, no. They are not the real person. We are from Norton and we are from the real one. You know that? I will be giving you one passcode. Did you receive any message? Can we use my old boyfriend? His name was Roshan. R-O-S-H-A-N. Roshan. <laughs> no. Check it out. I have given you that passcode. I have given you a text message. What is, man what is message. Mangino? It's a mango. What is that? The passcode. The passcode will be mango. Ma'am, I'm giving you a number. It will be the number of my senior manager, senior executive manager. His name will be Mike. Mike Tyson? Yes, Mike Tyson. His name will be Mike Tyson. Hello, this is this is Bertha. Hi, Bertha. This is Mike. Officer Mike. First of all, before I speak further, I would like to confirm the password. Uh, your password is... Um, let me go on to it. Roshan, R-O-S-H-A-N, correct? No, that's not right. <laughs> it's, it's Roshan, right? Hello? Uh, the password is Mango. All right. So, Bertha, I came across the information that someone had tried to take uh, money out of you, all right? I would like... Okay, okay, he said, Mike Tyson has let me connect onto his computer via Interdesk. It, once again, there are not a lot of files to delete. However, there are victims numbers. The fact that he can get on to these people's computer, <laughs> the fact that he's able to get onto their computers, y'all, like that's a, <laughs> that's a skill in itself, okay? I don't know, I don't know if I wanna, <laughs> let me not piss off scammer payback, okay? I don't need him up in my system. Ain't no telling what he finna find up in here. Okay. <laughs> that someone tried to take uh, money out of you, all right? I would like, first of, uh, of all, I would like you to share all the information in detail so that I can have a better idea, okay? Okay. That it, it involves, it's not, it is not showing any, on any books of the account, right? Okay. You are sending cash to couriers. All right, that guy just is talking. I was trying to get the IP address, but that scammer, they shut it down after I started going on there. Trying to see if there's anything juicy here. There's a text now log. We might have some potential victims from phone calls that they've made. Uh, hello, uh, sir. Yeah, this is uh, this is Progi with Scammer Payback. I deal with internet scammers, and uh, these scammers had all of your information on their computer. And I didn't know if you've been in contact with them over the past couple of days. And uh, they pretended to be like a Norton computer company. Yep. 
They have your where you live, your full name, your age, your birthday. They have some P.O. box. They have your phone numbers and email address. So I don't know if they're trying to scare you or what. Okay. Now, <clears throat> and, and you work for who? I have a YouTube channel called Scammer Payback. I go after internet scammers that steal money from people. Okay, Scammers uh, Payback. Hey, brother, I appreciate it. You got like a, a subscription thing or like uh, anything like that for donations? Oh, dude, you don't have to donate to me. It's all good. I just wanted to make sure you weren't losing all your dang money. Word. <laughs> All right. That's what I'm talking about. Man, man, that must be a good feeling to just call people and be like, yo, bro, let me save you, okay? Let me spare you your $15,000 that you about to have to come up with, okay, for this foolishness. Man, hero of the day. Man, man, man. You don't have to donate to me. It's all good. I just wanted to make sure you weren't losing all your dang money. <laughs> all right. Thank you, brother. I know this is a very random question, but your information was on the scammer's computer that I came across, and I wanted to proactively call you and see if you've been in contact with them at all. Yeah, I got scammed. Okay, you did? Yes. What happened? Do you mind telling me? Because I'm here to help. I'm sorry. Yeah, now I'm skeptical of who I call talk to now. So no, it's okay. It's okay. Again. Yeah, so if you, if you go to YouTube, you can type in scammer payback. Okay. I call up these guys, and I pretend to be, so like I can change my voice, and I pretend to be a victim. And I try to get information to help victims out. Do you mind telling me what happened and I can see if maybe I can help you? Yeah, okay. Um, well, I got an email um, from Norton, which I'm familiar with Norton. Y'all, I kid y'all not. I'm, I'm about to look this up. I know, I know, y'all. I kid y'all not. I've been getting all these, like, Norton emails in my email lately. And every time they come up, every time, and it's always from freaking Norton. That is so crazy. Y'all, every time they come up, and I've been, I just been deleting them because it says that, <laughs> y'all, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not kidding. All these say invoice, your annual product subscription for Norton Protection has been renewed. You've been charged $242. Oh, 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 here's one. Okay, wait. <laughs> y'all, I'm not kidding. I'm not even kidding. All these just popped up. Here's one for $302.62. It says your purchase for your purchase plan for Norton Protection has been successfully renewed and updated. The charges sum will be reflected inside next 24 to 48 hours in your account. Statement for your order, y'all. Y'all think I'm lying. Can y'all see this? I wish y'all could see that. Oh, can I make it closer? Look at this, y'all. All of this, okay? It's so crazy that I'm getting all these, like, Norton... <laughs> these Norton messages, y'all. Here go another one, y'all. Here's another one. Just so y'all know I'm not kidding. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't that crazy, y'all? It literally says that... Can y'all see that? That I'm being charged or something? Every time they come through... I delete them, y'all. So, it's real, y'all. <laughs> it's real, okay? Um, well, I got an email um, from Norton, which I'm familiar with Norton Security, and said that your account will be charged $293. Right. So, I wound up getting $2,400 in gift cards to pay them back. Um, and I know. So... <laughs> I'm really sorry. Uh, and this was yeah. a couple of days ago, right? Yeah, it happened Friday. <laughs> well, um, I just want to let you know. So part of, um, I try to proactively help. <laughs> I'm actually getting a little sad. Hold on. Um, I'm sorry. Yeah. I have one of the most incredible communities of people. Oh. Yeah. Um, and uh, we have a thing called the force. And it's people that mm. have put money together. Uh, for people who have been victims of these scams. Mm. And um, wow. I want to give you back your $2,400 because I couldn't help you. Are you kidding me? No. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, really? Yes, ma'am. Wow. If you would allow me to. I was, if you'd allow I was me crying. To. Yeah, I was crying because I was sad on Friday. And I'm yes, crying because it's just unbelievable. I can't believe it. Well, you don't deserve what they did to you, okay? I know, and I, I consider myself very smart and yes, astute, and I can't believe I got suckered. I mean, just, I was so caught up into paying them their money back, and it was all a scam. And yes, I, I didn't realize it, the whole process. Yes, ma'am. I have really incredible friends. 
really incredible <laughs> friends and um we are it's them it's not me it's man the, the fact that this man like is is that you know into what he's doing to help people y'all like says a lot about his character you know the type of person that he is that he's you know all in on helping people do this and now i just showed y'all like i'm not y'all <laughs> Almost every day. Like, I, I hadn't seen one pop up in a couple days, y'all. But when I tell you, like, frequently, they come through. And I bet you it's so easy to get people to call these people and be like, wait, you charged me $262 for what? You know what I mean? Like, and here you are, wrapped into this foolishness. Just like that. Just like that. If I hadn't been watching these videos, y'all, I, I would not have ever seen that. I would have probably, I would have probably, wait. What are you charging me for? Okay. Nothing to, y'all, going on. Them, they're gonna, they're going to give you your money back. If you feel comfortable, we want to give you the 2400 back. And, uh, again, we make you whole again, so. Um, yeah, the only way I would do it is, is do a check. I wouldn't okay. do anything electronically. Yeah, we can, we can send you a check for account. sure. I can, I can certainly send you a check. That's, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Well, we can. Can you hold uh, on for one second? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Can you hold on one second, please? Yes, ma'am. Well, I'll be dang. Um crying like a baby on my stream today and it, and also too i want to thank everyone everyone who's in the force that that's it right there 100 percent. That, that's what the force is about that's what this whole freaking channel is about is if wow. we can save someone to help someone we just had someone proactively we've had two okay, people okay i'm back um okay. i was just ch chatting with my daughter because she <laughs> said she was watching um stations that um the guy disguised himself as an old lady to, yes, to oh choose. honey yes this is i can do that as well <laughs> Oh, no, wait, you? oh, yes, honey. It's for, you, it's for real? I told you it was me. Oh, that's what she just told me. She said you disguise your voice as a woman, yes. old, an old lady, and yes. you try to get these scammers back so right. you are legit. Yes, ma'am. Oh, my Oh, honey, goodness. you better believe it. Us, us ladies need to stick together. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> So, oh, wow. Yes. Okay. Yes, so. You know the oh, crazy oh, thing? Cool. All right. I know this is so silly. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm actually going to be down that way. I could physically even hand you the check if you want, if you'd be interested. Really? In yes, ma'am. I, 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 I forgot I'm actually flying uh, down that way uh, this week. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Thank you. All right. All right. God, God bless bye you. now. All right. God bless bye -bye. you. <clears throat> Dang onions, baby. I don't know what to do on that one, dude. That's freaking ridiculous, nice. man. Nice. Woo! Now, I want to share a follow-up update that I have on the victim because some time has passed and she wants to share her story. I want to give her praise because being scammed can be quite embarrassing, but being vulnerable and sharing your story to the world can really help others from making the same mistakes. Yeah. So here's my call with her. So I'm on with Miss Tabitha. What an incredible story. We, I, you know, I've been going through this call with the scammer, run across information, run across your information, reach out to you. What was maybe like the first thing that went in your mind when I actually called you up? Yeah, right after I got scammed, I got your call not long after, and it was like, all right, another scammer, you know, pretending to be something else. I am not going to fall for it. The only saving grace was that my daughter was familiar with you somewhat. Can you explain a little bit? kind of how they got you or what they said or what that whole process was and like what you went through to get to that point? My family from Arkansas moved in with me. It was a family of six. And the teenager uses the office as a bedroom and he's on the computer. And so I, I legitimately thought something was wrong with my computer. So that engaged me a lot at that point. He said, well, we're gonna refund your money. And um, so this is what you do. And from there on, I'm, I'm sucked in, you know? And so from there on, it was the um, the whole, you know, sign on to any desk, do this and do that, litany of instructions of what to do. And so I I was in, I was, I was just suckered in. When you're going through this and they say, oh my gosh, man, we actually gave you, what is it, $2,500 or $3,000, whatever the dollar amount is, we gave you this on accident. What it, What goes on in your mind because you're, you're a well-meaning yeah. person. You're not trying to do something bad. And they almost make it seem like it's your fault that you did it. I know what I keyed in. And then when I saw the amount, I was like, oh, well, then that convinced me further that something's wrong with my computer. 
Right. And so I was thoroughly convinced it was, you know, it put it, it put the extra zero in there. And so um, wow. all I wanted to do now was make them whole. So they're convincing you, look, you know, I got kids, I got a family and I got this and I got bills to pay and I'm going to lose my job. The whole, you know, nine yards about um, if I lose this amount of money tonight with you, then my life is in, you know, jeopardy. My Come on. Come on. These people are sick, y'all. Like careless, okay? Heartless. Y'all, no feelings whatsoever. They could care less, okay? You could be on your last dime. They don't care? Dang. Tonight with you, then my life is in, you know, jeopardy. My livelihood is in jeopardy. And then it kind of um, leads to that gift card piece. Did they, like, yeah. how did, did they train you at all as far as, hey, you need to say this? So, yeah, they did um, kind of prep you um, about if anybody asks you, um, is it for someone else? Just right. tell them it's for you, you know? So they did, you know, do that in there. And I was thoroughly convinced that's the thing to do because otherwise they may have not given me the gift cards and I right. couldn't pay them back. And somewhat little red flags came up. I mean, w at least one red flag came up um, when the Target guy said, are these for you? The gift cards are for you. And I said, mm -hmm. oh yeah, I'm buying the gifts for, you know, gift cards. And so he was kind of on like, I've seen this before I and mean, he yeah. didn't say that. I mean, he didn't want to offend me either, you know what I mean? Sure. But he did throw it out there and I was like, you know, that could have been a red flag. Why didn't I, you know, gravitate to that? And wow. it wasn't until I got- So then the clerk also probably brought up like, y'all that, that yeah, people come in here and buy gift cards for scammers and da da da, da. That's why we ask the question and so on and so forth, y'all. So, so he probably like made some type of hint towards the possibility of this being a scam, but she didn't even, she didn't, she didn't pay it any attention, y'all. Dang. You know, there could have been a red flag. Why didn't I, you know, gravitate to that? And it wasn't until I got back to the house, went upstairs back to the computer, I checked my account. And um, I said, you guys scammed me. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. We didn't scam you. Right. We're going to give you your money back. If we got your money, we're going to give it back. You know, and, uh, you know, and I was so upset. Ma'am, don't be so upset. You know, we're going to get you your money back and all that. And then, you know, like the thing, they try to give you, put the camera on you because like you told me before that while you're gone, they're messing with your computer. And so I was able to not be on the camera right. and at, at that point i figured it out you know so they they went through took the money did they have you when you scratched the cards did they have you like pull over to the side of the road or did you go home or how did they do that like they wanted it probably right away i assume right oh, yeah uh, yeah so um <laughs> for the target one they wanted me not to leave the parking lot yeah and then um the Walmart one, uh, after I left there, I, I did pull over, you know, um, before I got home and gave them the, the card numbers. What would you say are like three things that people should look for, listen for what they see, what they feel on the inside that, hey, this is a scam. Probably I need to maybe stop doing what I'm doing. I just do this. Just step back, breathe. And right. then even if you even if it's legit and you stop the process, you still did yourself a favor. Now you got a chance to to process in your own mind, take a breather and step back and say, if it's legit, they'll call me back. Or if it's legit, I have a legitimate number to call them back. Right. If any inkling of a point, you think that this might not, this doesn't sound quite. That is so key, y'all. Like, she probably couldn't have said that any better because I told y'all the time that I, I felt like I got got, because <laughs> I got got, you know what I mean? The only thing they didn't get was money. But they got my behind. They messed up my computer. And if that was the one thing that I wish I could have did, like, and, and go back and redo, it would have been for me to, like, think about everything that that man was saying to me and how I was feeling in that moment. And for some reason, like I said, it was like something in me was like something is not right. And by the time I thought about it, he had already probably did everything he was going to do because I got the blue screen after afterwards. The computer never worked again. But... Had I just thought about it, y'all, I feel like that would have changed 
That probably would have changed everything. There was nothing wrong with my computer to begin with. Nothing. Quite right. Or I feel pressure or I feel like mm -hmm. I'm too involved in it. Just stop and just, you know, quit. You know, people on the outside looking in said, you know, I would have guessed that right away. Yeah, no. Maybe, maybe not. But I'm telling you, I, <laughs> I was caught up in it mm -hmm. and I, I was I surprised myself. So I never would have thought I would have got scammed. Right. I never would have thought. So we, we encountered a person um, that they were a victim of scammers that had taken their money and purchased um, like cryptocurrency. Luckily, we were able to like hack into it and get it back and save them their money. But we got an opportunity to leave a voicemail for the scammer. But if you had an opportunity to tell them like what's on your mind, uh, like today, what would you tell to them? I did text the number that was on my phone. And I said, you know, I asked them, how do you sleep with yourself at night? You know, um, what do your family think of you if they know what you were doing? That's what I said. I said, you're scums and you're evil. And how do you sleep at night right. stealing innocent money? I hope you don't rest good at night. I hope sure. your conscience keep you up. You know, at some point, you never know. But it will come back on you, you know. <laughs> hey, it's strong. Um, we, you know, a lot of folks have strong feelings about the ones that steal from people that are in vulnerable times. Wow. There's people that have lost their lives because of everything being stolen from them. We have an incredible community. My point is, is that, um, you know, they put that force together, which is the fund for people who have been victimized by these scammers and make you whole. What was that feeling like um, kind of going through that process too and knowing that there's all these people that are on the lookout for folks <laughs> that have been victimized? First of all, that's incredible. I mean, that's totally incredible, it was so unheard of that there is a community of people that care so much for innocent people that got hurt yeah. financially but when you told me what you guys do your community does i was on cloud nine kind of made up for the scums that you know built you out of your money mm -hmm. never thought in a million years that someone would be that kind enough to contribute monies to restore me you know um, yes, so that was the most i don't know <laughs> i don't know it's the most exciting and heart felt and warmest things ever happened to me. Wow. I will say though, that as soon as the situation had happened, I mean, the whole community, they're like the fastest, like, where, where do we help? Where do we help? I mean, they immediately, whenever they get a chance to help, they, they do. So this is nothing about me. This is about all the folks in the scammer payback community that come together uh, to help victims out. Again, I thank you for sharing this, your story with everyone. It really is going to help oh, a lot of people. Thank you. We're, so. we're so blessed to know you you're, and your story is going to help so many people. And, um, you know, blessings to you and your family. And, um, you. you know, we're uh, looking forward so. to no more scam stories for you. <laughs> Nobody's scamming you. Nobody mm -hmm. bothering you. So if anyone wants to Not call funny. you, she's going to hack into your computer or else she'll just call me and then I'll hack into your computer. So... <laughs> Nobody call Miss <laughs> Tabitha up or she'll get you. All right. <laughs> We're just a small team over here, but what a huge win for this community. Right. I want to thank you all so much for helping to get this victim all of her money back. Mm. If you're interested in joining the fight, become a member. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and don't get scammed. You know compelling story y'all that's really nice that's really nice and that's i think that's amazing that he has created a community like that to give back to people who have been scammed you know because like i said y'all you never know you never know what people are going through i know we we've heard one before where the lady was having surgery and she had to pay like he i don't know if he was he was making it up i think he was making it up but he was telling you know telling the scammers y'all i'm having surgery tomorrow this is all the money I have to pay for my surgery, and they did not care, y'all. It was like, oh, okay. So what? Send it over. <laughs> how you gonna get this money here? That's all we need to know. How, how fast can you get it here? Nobody cares about what you got going on, okay, or your life problems. They do not care, y'all. It is so, it's so messed up, but anyway, this one was good. This one warmed my little heart, y'all. This one warmed my little heart, okay? So, <laughs>
If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a big thumbs up. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And we're going to see y'all. I'm going to see y'all <laughs> in the next video, y'all. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Mwah.